If Sylvester Graham saw his name on such a highly processed product, I think he'd turn over in his grave. Sylvester Graham was a Presbyterian minister in the early years of the uh, 19th century, and he was really North America's first nutritional guru. He had some interesting views. He thought that people should eat the way that Adam and Eve ate in the Garden of Eden, which was lots of fruits and vegetables and lots of seeds, no meat at all and no dairy. So basically, he was an advocate of a vegetarian diet. But he had some interesting views about this diet and why one should follow it. He thought that white flour made people insane and made them lusty. And that to him was a terrible thing because sexual activity drained the body of energy. So you cannot do that except for procreational purposes. There were a number of uh, adherents to that philosophy. John Harvey Kellogg, who ran the Battle Creek Sanitarium in Battle Creek, Michigan, was a big advocate of, uh, of Grahamism. And uh, he, in fact, never consummated his marriage because he thought that this would be robbing him of energy. Although he was a good man. He had about 42 adopted children. But Graham's big thing was whole grain because white flour would lead people astray. So he invented basically the high fiber bread. That was the, the central piece of the Graham diet. And if you just ate high fiber bread, everything would be okay. Obviously, he had a lot of opposition from the bakers at that time, who even organized demonstrations whenever Graham spoke. Well, with the uh, coming of the 20th century, white milled flour became much, much more popular, and people started to get away from high fiber grains, which is really a shame, because today we know that uh, high fiber is one of the cornerstones of a good diet. In fact, quite recently, we had a study that looked at dozens and dozens of prospective studies and clinical studies of people who had low and high fiber diets. And it is very, very clear that a diet that has at least 25 grams of fiber a day reduces cholesterol, which means it reduces the risk of heart disease. There's reduction in, in risk of cancer, uh, reduction in, in type 2 diabetes. So we really need to, I guess, grahamize some more and concentrate on the amount of fiber that we take in. Well, where do you find fiber? It doesn't have to be in whole grain bread, although a couple of slices here will give you four grams of fiber. We're looking for 25 a day. A pear, believe it or not, is one of the best sources of fiber, at least as far as fruits are concerned, six grams in there. An apple has four grams, three in a banana, two in a tangerine. So it isn't difficult to add up. And then of course, there are all the products that are advertised as being high fiber, like Muslix here. Well, yeah, it does contain a good dose of fiber, but also has a lot of sugar. So not that one. How about this, Triscuit? Well, you look on the label, it contains essentially no sugar and it's high in fiber. However, it also has this irritating logo, non-GMO. Why is that irritating? Because there is no genetically modified wheat on the market. So while it is true, it basically leads people astray, of course, in more than one way, because nothing wrong with genetic modification. However, if you really want a good load of fiber, this is what you want. Now, I don't get any kickbacks from General Mills. All you have to do is read the label. One serving of this is 14 grams. So you take a serving of this, you have a pear, an apple, a banana a day, and couple of slices of bread and you've done it. You're over the 25 grams, not so hard to do. Now the Graham cracker that you probably have heard of actually probably was not invented by Graham, although the history is somewhat murky because it only appeared in store shelves around the middle of the 1800s. Today, the actual Graham cracker is, uh, is hard to find. There are many that call themselves Graham cracker, use the Graham name, but actually are, are high in sugar, but you still can't find a few. And this one, for example, is indeed made with whole grains. It's got some poppy seeds in there. Not enough poppy seeds to put morphine into your urine, so don't worry about that. And it's uh, actually quite tasty. Oh, where do you go? A high fiber diet. What about this? Well, makes for a good frisbee.